So, this is Diesel. Not too happy right now. Diesel, enough. Bulldog, beautiful dog, when he's not being upset. That's actually not as bad as it looks, guys. So I'm not in any threat with him. I'm not in any danger, as far as I know, <laughs> unless his owners lied to me. But um, he just got here two hours ago, so I haven't done anything with him. He's an absolutely beautiful dog and a very, very sweet dog. Like, I was very impressed when the owners were here on his demeanor and everything. So he'll be here for two weeks. Um, he's gonna be a little difficult to start working. So right away, I see a lot of things. The owners, again, awesome people. I, I get to work with the best, but I could tell by mama's interaction, watching you mama, Diesel's mama, I already know where the battle will be. Okay, I already get it. And so as soon as they left, I saw his demeanor change and he became very uncomfortable looking for, for her big time. Um, when he first interacted with my dogs came out, he was not happy. He has settled in now. He's fine inside with them in his pen, you know, but he's not gonna wanna do anything for me. And he's unbelievably powerful. I mean, really, <laughs> really powerful okay so you saw that little tantrum there he threw um one of the other reasons to have a really good quality leash if i had you know a 10 15 dollar nylon leash he bites right through it and then you could lose a dog so these these leashes here that i use are absolutely really fantastic but he's gonna be fine he's gonna be like all the other dogs i just wanted to show you guys what he's like when we're here stay on him for you let's see come here diesel Get that out of your system? You okay now? You know, don't bite my face off, okay? You all right now? You okay? It's gonna be all right, pal. You're gonna have a good time here. Me and you. Two meatheads. Me and my other meathead. I'm actually, I'm really looking forward to working with him. I really am. So when he was throwing the tantrum there, guys, like I said, he just got here. So if I respond poorly to that, that's how that relationship is starting off. I let him have his say, I did nothing. He saw I didn't really get him anywhere. He's not gonna be doing that much longer. And I will never have to hammer this dog for doing that. He's gonna just stop doing it, okay? And then once we have that trust, and I trust him and he trusts me, then when he tries to do something silly like that, it'll be very easy to stop. Come here, Diesel. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come here. Oh. oh. Don't go near the old, don't go near the tug toy. <laughs> so there you go. Just doing that got him fired up, right? All these things matter. Hey. So, wish me luck. I'll have my hands full. <laughs> little bit here and uh, hopefully I don't lose any special purpose part if I do I'll let you guys know peace
So here you see we got the power steering, okay? You guys saw what he did yesterday, one leash. I can't out bulldog a bulldog, it's not gonna happen. So I don't want that conflict. So if I would have tried to punish this dog, like a lot of people promote, just punish him, light him up with the e-collar, whack him over the head, that's a joke for this guy. He's going to laugh at me. So I have to be a little smarter. If I had a chain link leash, that's what I would use, but I don't. I'll get one today. So we just go to the power steering, okay? So when he when he came out yesterday and he blew up, I just gave him a little pop uh, with the other leash and he was like, whoa, what the F was that? You know, and he stopped and he was good. Um, did real good last night, which you guys didn't see, is the one thing I did yesterday was I took him in the yard, took the leash off. I said, I won't give him the opportunity with the leash on, right? See what he does. Because he was real good with his owners here. But what he decided to do when there was no leash on, he came for me, okay? He bulldogged me. He came after me pretty hard. This isn't all play. The owners think it's all play. It's not. He's pretty serious. Um, he went right after the old Brajol. And I can't lose the old Brajol. I just can't do it. You know, but I also can't back down. He never put his teeth on me, you know? He's just challenging me and trying to punk me out. But uh, that, that's, not, that's not gonna work, you know? And, and we'll just see how he does out here. We'll move around a little with him. You can keep an eye on the dog. All right. Good boy, good boy. That's what I'm talking about. Come here, Tom. Free dog. Free dog. So right away I start working on the release command a lot. That's his reward at this point. Come here, Diesel. Come on, boy. Diesel, play. Good boy. Free dog. Good. Good job. So you see, as soon as I give him a little excitement, and I'm doing that on purpose, he gets fired up and wants to revert back to what he does, attack the leash and fight. But now you see him settling down much easier, okay? Again, never, don't give me that side look. That makes me a little nervous. All right, Diesel, ready? Diesel, plates. Too close to the old Brajol again. Hey. You hear that beeping? My heart rate monitor is on because I just got back from the gym. So I'm up to 150 something beats a minute. Follow me. But you guys see the walking, right? So, when I talk about how easy it is to get a dog to walk nicely on the leash, right? There's no worse than this dog pulling me down the street, okay? but he's starting to get into what I want. That's 
That's what I want. Okay. Good job, buddy. So right there, whenever he pulls behind, whenever he starts lagging and gives me that look, that's about where he's about to explode. And I just remind him, hey, I got power steering now. I'm not scared of you. The old Brajol is safe. So right there, he looked at me like, go ahead. And then he gave a little nip at the old Brajol. Again, again, I'm gonna have to start wearing a cup because I guess on the positive side, if he does take it off, I instantly drop like five or six pounds. So there's always a silver lining and no matter what happens. So I'm filming a lot of nothing, guys, but I want people to see the journey we take him on. Um, later on today, I'll probably put him on the flex pole and start a little bite work, a little tug. He doesn't out, okay? He doesn't out, and he is a beast. So that's gonna be interesting, but I'm not gonna show it after I fix that. I'm gonna show it before, where he probably tosses me around like a rag doll, okay? I'll keep you guys posted. Peace.
Diesel, come. Come here, boy. Come here, Diesel. Okay, folks, hopefully you could hear me because of the wind. I just wanted to try something just now. Um, what happened earlier, you guys saw me work with him this morning. After that, a little later on, I brought him in the yard here, took him off the leash, and released him to see how he acted. And again, he came after me. He came after me kind of hard, and it was a little scary, I'm not going to lie, you know? But then I noticed something. Um, sometimes it's hard to catch everything when you're working with a dog, but I noticed when he was coming for me, I was holding the leash and he was keying in on the leash. He wasn't keying on, in on me, which makes sense why I keep he thinks going for my private areas because I'm just holding my hands down here. So I put the leash over the fence and went about our business and he no longer came at me. So just now when I brought him out, I took the leash off at the door right away. That's the first time he's heard the clicker. I haven't heard it. But earlier when I brought him inside, it was the first time he took food from my hand in his pen. Okay. So I said, let me try something different now. None of this is planned or anything. He may come at me and try to attack me now while I'm talking. I don't know. Sorry, I wanted to take advantage of him coming and giving me that engagement. Um, I noticed some blood on the place board, and then there's blood on my hand. His mouth is bleeding from something. I don't, I don't know what. I'll have to check that out. Um, so these are the little things I'm trying to keep everyone up on. For myself, first of all, this is, you know, I got to come up with a lot of different things here. But if it helps one person, <laughs> that'll be good. This is good, okay? This is good. A couple of things I left out of what I did earlier today wasn't planned when he's in his pen he's okay with the dogs in there now he doesn't react as long as they're cool but at one point buddy and i hope you get my whole face in the picture at one point buddy went up to his pen you know to get up in his face and i erupted i got on buddy i sent him away buddy has to know he can't do that but more importantly diesel needs to know he doesn't have to worry about that and then later on diesel's food was in there and uh, don't knock that tripod over <laughs> diesel his food was in his pen he wasn't eating yet and mango went over by the food bowl so once again I exploded and I got on mango and I sent her away she needs to know she has to give him space but more importantly he needs to know I'll take care of this buddy okay uh, this is good I'm happy with this I'm very happy with this Free dog. Okay, so again, something different. The wheels are always turning. It took me a minute to realize, yeah, he is coming at me, and it's scary. I'm not going to lie. He has real intentions, but he was keying in on the leash. And his eyes are a little different, so it's not always easy to tell exactly what he's focused on. But as soon as I put the leashes over the fence, that changed everything, which explains why when his owners were here, he was fine. He was off leash. Okay. Again, I don't know what it is. I'll talk to them, but it is the leash he's keying in on. 
beautiful. This is this is very nice. I don't know if you guys can see that. Beautiful. Very nice diesel. Very nice. Right now he's giving me really nice eye contact and he's calm and not threatening me right now, which I'll take. Come here, diesel place. Good job. Free dog. So again, guys, I'm trying to show as much as I can because as I learn more about him. One person out there will be able to figure something out. Sorry about the wind. <laughs> well, that's good. I acted like an idiot and he didn't want to hump me. Good boy, Diesel. I'll keep this stuff coming as long as you guys want it. If you say, hey, stop posting this shit, not a problem. I'll stop posting it. But I picked up things in video that I didn't notice when I'm working them. And that's why it's so hard, so important to film what we're doing. And, and another friend of mine, hi Denise, pointed out some important stuff too that I didn't see till I went back and watched the video. But this is a much better diesel, okay? Much better diesel. Very nice, good boy. Good boy, free dog. Very good, that's much better. I'll keep you guys posted, I'm very happy with that right now. This is the best interaction we've had, right buddy? Here, last one, take it off. Take it off, go get it.